Well, it would help to get the microphone over here, wouldn't it? Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, the one and only unashamed nonconformist. How are y'all doing on this terrific Tuesday morning? I am so happy to be here because, man, have I got great topics lined up. I as, as I have mentioned many times, I'm a Reddit fan, and I came across a great question in the small business subreddit last night about pain points. I'm going to start talking about some of these pain points, giving my reaction to these questions right here. So you, not only can you benefit from them, but I'll link them over there, and they can as well. Before I And today's question, as you may have uh, discerned from the title, today's question is going to be about finding, keeping good help, something like that. Before I get to today's topic, if you would do me the favor as, wow, look at that, Joe and Abby and Keith have already done, leave me a comment, say hi, wave, give a thumbs up, whatever feels right to you. Just drop that uh, down there in the comments. And if you have a question about the stuff that I'm uh, going over here this morning, Please leave that as well. And one more caveat before I get into this. While you may hear this idea about adding staff, adding team, and think, eh, my business not big enough for that, or eh, I'm, I'm just an employee, this applies to you too because it helps you. It will help you understand where the employer side of the equation is coming from. We all have – I mean – all of us. I usually say an entrepreneur's job is to solve problems for other people at a profit. Now, that's my job as an employee also, right? It's just have a little bit more schedule associated with it. Hey, Jeff made it too. Awesome. Good morning to you, sir. All right, so let's get into it. The question here, um, the, the, the question that got posed was what's the biggest pain point for your business? There are some fantastic ones in here that I can't wait to get to. But the first one that I wanted to talk about was lack, the, as the answer was, was given, lack of reliable staff. And my very first question, where I just sit down across the table from this um, budding entrepreneur, is define reliable. Right? I mean, reliable in, in many respects is subjective. A lot of people have thoughts about what it means, but, you know, reliable um the, the reliable gate swings both ways. My favorite quote ever about employees is from Richard Branson, right? Train them well enough to leave and treat them like, and treat them well enough so they won't. Train them well enough to leave and treat them well enough so that they won't. Everybody is afraid. And, and I get it. And, and even further down in the comments here, the, uh, the, the poster said something about wasting money training employees and and it's not a waste it's leverage right there are a finite number of hours in the day although someday i have to tell the story how i build 26 hours in one 24-hour period that's a story for another day there's a finite number of hours in the day and as long as you are the one right that that's generating income during those hours there's a finite amount of income you're ever going to be able to create, right? The only way, the only way that you break through that is by leverage. If the only way that I created income was one-on-one, -on -one, then the most I could ever have is 24 clients in a day. But, you know, as it is, I might have a couple of hundred. I don't know where that came from. I might, as it is, I might have a couple of hundred you know, watching videos, watching programs, going through some of my online stuff, going through as a group. I mean, all of those things are how you leverage your time. And you leverage your time, that you begin leveraging your time by adding to your team. Now, the other thing that you have to realize, and I, this is one of the hardest things for new business owners, entrepreneurs to get their head wrapped around, is that you don't have to be the expert in everything in the business. Just curious. Anybody disagree with that? If you disagree with that, I'm going to give you just a second and take a sip of my coffee here for you to leave a comment and let me know that you disagree, and then I'll explain why you're wrong, but in a nice way. Okay, there you go. Time's up. 
you don't have to be the expert because other people are better at things than you are and you want them to be. The example I use all the time is accounting. I despise accounting. It's still my responsibility to look at the result and run the business based on those results, but putting the right number in the right column and going through all the results. No, hate that. That's why I hired somebody else to do it. And she is infinitely better at it than I am. Do I understand what she's doing? Yeah. Could I do it if I had to? Probably. And I'm quite sure I'd screw it up at some point. But the point is, right, you hire people for their expertise. Now, and, and this guy in, in this particular question is a skilled trade. It's not just, you know, flipping burgers. Uh, I mean, it's it requires some effort, some talent for what they're doing. So don't be afraid to train them, but also don't be afraid to treat them well. And treating them well doesn't mean you have to pay them better than everybody else. Each one of us is an individual, right? What I'm looking for in terms of, of being treated well might be completely different than somebody else. So just have a conversation with them. I had this conversation about two weeks ago. I was talking to a young man about joining my team, and I asked him to define the role that he wanted on the team. And he's like, wow, I've never had to do that before. I've always had the job description handed to me. Like, yeah, well, I'm the unashamed nonconformist. I don't do things the way everybody else does, right? So the way that you that you create a reliable team is for you to be reliable to them. Solve their problem at a profit. Let's solve their problem. I'll give you one more example, and then we'll go ahead and wrap things up today. I was at Chick-fil-A yesterday, and I was just watching how many people, and it was around a shift change, but I was watching how many people they had working. And in my head, you know, I'm, I'm doing some math here, and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, this mean people out front, and got some out back and some outside, you know, how much revenue do they have to be doing in order to cover all of these people? And I'm like, well, it really doesn't matter how many people they have as long as the revenue covers it. And so all of this is about leverage. There's just some I can see, I can hear in this uh, Redditor's comment that he's uncomfortable with the situation of adding people to the team, which is not uncommon. I mean, we're trained to be employees, not employers. So... The, the important thing to remember, two things I want you to take away from today's conversation. Number one, whether you're an employer or an employee, your job is still to solve other people's problems at a profit, right? Make sure you're doing that. Number two, if you're adding to your team, talk to them. Find out what their goals, dreams, aspirations, objectives are, right? And leverage their time for you while you're helping them get there. The likelihood that somebody's going to work for you for the rest of their life is slim to Zippo. Unless maybe it's your kids, but even then they leave you, right? They're not staying forever. Just get comfortable with that. And then get comfortable with the idea that while they are here, I'm going to leverage their time, talent, and resources to my benefit while I help them get to where they want to go. All of that begins with a conversation and relationship. All right, that's it for today. Uh, it's Tuesday, a radio show. Got a guest coming on the show today. Good book that we're going to be talking about, so you want to be there. Join me for that. That will be at the top of the hour, so about whoo, 50 minutes from now. Well, I ran long today. Shocking. Uh, top of the hour at 8 o'clock. You can listen live in Huntsville, WTKI, 1450 AM, 92.9 FM, or online, WTKIRadio.com, or the very best way to listen is right here. Go to uh, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. That'll get you the right video feed. You can watch the show live right here on Facebook Live. All right, that's it for today. Remember, if you have questions, comments, feedback, go ahead and leave them, even though you're watching the replay. Still cool, because I still watch them. And Catherine, I didn't miss you. I see you down there. Thank you for being here this morning, too. That's it. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you again tomorrow.